Hi there, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to review some of the motion graphics and video productions that I was a part of in 2022. I really just want to look back on what was a good year and a year where I did a lot of video work for my church, Rock Point Church, and would really love to see some of the ways I've grown. Uh, would love to talk about some of the things that I did as I worked on some of these projects. Uh, there's just not a lot of content out there right now of people talking about videos and motion graphics that they're making for churches and I think that these creative elements for our gatherings are some of the ways that I love to get to contribute to our worship gathering every week. Um, it's an opportunity to use art to help convey the gospel in a new way um, or even just to continually communicate the entire message of our church. Um, our mission at Rock Point is to follow Jesus, love one another, and make disciple makers. How do the things that I'm doing help contribute to that mission? Well, often you're helping to contribute to the, the culture of your church. And I really do believe that the work that you put into how things are presented demonstrates how important what you're presenting is to you. And the gospel is the most important thing that there is. That's why I put a lot of work into the content that I make for my church. Um, it's something that I would love to talk at length about more in the future. Um, but for now, let's take a look at some of these videos and I'll give you some of my notes and some of the backstory. And if you enjoy this video, please leave a like, leave a comment. I would love to talk with you about it. I uh, would love to open this up and let's talk about making content for the church. So here we go. What would it have been like to have been there? As the angels lit up the night sky, singing glory to God in the highest. As far away kings followed a star. As a little baby boy took his first wailing breaths in a Bethlehem stable. Mary, did you know? How could anyone know the depth of the groaning and anticipation as the world waited for that moment? My Jesus, you were owed glory and honor and praise. There should have been music and singing and fanfare when the Son of God entered into his own creation. You did not deserve that stable any more than we deserve the Savior within it. What was it like in that moment, meeting the Messiah? What would it have been like to be there? Yeah, so this video is definitely a shout out to Ezra Cohen, <laughs> uh, whose resources I really love using. But this was one of the videos uh, this was back in 2020. I feel like this was one of the videos where I like, I really felt like, okay, I think I'm starting to get this kinetic typography kind of thing. It was good. It, it fit the moment. It fit what we were trying to do. I liked the color contrast between the, the red and the white and the black. Uh, this red here isn't really, I mean, it's in the flowers in the main graphic. Um, that's one thing I try to do is I really try to tie in the color palettes for any video into like kind of what the main graphic for the series is. All in all, I like it. I'm not going to give it any, some kind of rating, but I like it. Christmas 2021, this is our a Season of Giving Back series. Yeah, there's some cool stuff in this one. I actually really enjoyed the texture work with this one. I spent a lot of time working with the grains and some of the background textures. Um, I use a lot of Envato Elements um, assets and some of these looping textures were already made. Um, some things I made. And then uh, some of these text effects were really fun and kind of the ways they work together. And I <laughs> Transitions like that jump cut weren't super amazing when you slow them down, but but this video it, it, it contributed to some of the energy that we really felt during that series. Um, I think that was really important, and like and this this movement here where it's it's moving out, where it's got family, right? Yeah, it um it gets bigger and bigger and faster and faster the further outward it's going, and that was the point that we wanted to communicate through this series of how giving back moves in that kind of motion from uh, how you give back to your family, how do you give back to your community, how do you give back um, all the way local and global. I really like some of the pieces there. I think that was really cool. 
after the series in January, uh, our church just about always, uh, like probably like most churches, we wrap up our Christmas series at the end of December. Maybe it goes into January. This was a lot more stock heavy, um, but I think it had a good vibe. These are stock elements. I, I wanted to simply communicate it's January, kind of restarting. And this was a season where we were really talking a lot about um, kind of who we are as a church and what we wanted the year to look like. And so I had this idea of it being like a computer program. But then I really like this movement. I actually, I took photos um, that our media team has taken of our pastors and for each uh, each message of the series was a different one of our pastors who was teaching and so I, I cut them out and like actually gave the title for their message in there. Um, this was a logo for the series. The series was called Rows and Circles. That was one of the things that we wanted to communicate visually for this series of the importance of gathering in rows and circles. One of our biggest pushes as a church now is for small groups, not just meeting on Sunday morning at our worship center for singing and, and praying and reading the word together, which is us gathering in rows, but it's also really important for us to gather in circles, in small groups where we're doing life together. Um, and I think that logo really communicated that. Um, that's a win. Um, this is horrible masking. I don't have like a tablet or anything, and so I, I did this masking with a combination of quick selection and Photoshop and like a brush and the edges are horrible. You don't see it in motion, but wow, that, that, uh, that hurts a little bit. <laughs> but this was really fun. I remember this video, it was really fun. I see so many different uh, influences in this video. I had this season where I was obsessed on Pinterest with all of these images of like urban marketing materials, you know, where like companies will go and just put like the same poster up on a wall in the city over and over and over again. And I, I saw some images that I really liked and so I kind of created that marketing wall with all these different pieces but this I was really proud of this video when I when I made it because everything is scratched like there's no stock footage there's some stock images um, like I haven't been to Israel but these are photos from Israel that, that cool motion there I kind of took some inspiration from some of the videos that I've seen coming out of, of Traders Point Church in Indy so as a worship leader on stage we would always we always go off stage during this bumper video and we would get backstage Every single time. <laughs> it was so much fun. Uh, yeah, I, I'm proud of that one because it was a lot of a lot of good planning where I gave myself enough time to do it all by hand. But this is one of my favorite videos that I've ever made was for this series called Upside Down Kingdom. Texture. I had just gotten a new plugin called Deep Glow, um, which was so much more realistic and easy to work with than the normal After Effects Glow plugin. Yeah, like right there. 
like this frame right here for me is like it's such a weird thing to say but this is like a perfect frame for me i love this kind of gritty texture like this feels real this feels like like i took a video of this thing happening right and it feels like a real camera lens is going in and out of focus and it's on real film and um, it feels natural and that was an, an accomplishment for me the things that i'm making completely digitally feel real um, and that's a win for me in my craft. But what this video did was it clearly communicated this idea of upside down kingdom of we were going to be talking about how the gospel feels so countercultural to what we know. And so these elements where it's, it's, it's hitting and it's moving and you have this glitching and like everything about this image as the crown is turned upside down is telling you as, a, as an audience, we're gonna encounter the word and what it has to say in a new way. And that is, that's a win for me. I could have shortened it. It didn't have to be as, quite as long as it did, but these textural moments and this kinetic typography was a lot of fun. This is one of my favorite videos I've, I've made. That series ended up leading into Galatians. So with this one, I really just wanted to take the first couple of verses of the book because we're going to be in the book for 15, 20 weeks. Um, and this is Paul's main statement. It's such an easy win for an intro video for a sermon series because it's actually just what the writer wrote and it's bringing it into today. And we really wanted to kind of bridge this feeling of old and new. I really like this motion. I think. Um, I don't remember the name of the motion artist who I stole this idea from of where the text is like elongating. Uh, that was a good series. That series turned into Christmas this year. simple but I actually kind of gave away how I built the actual image for the series which was a lot of 3d elements that I put together and then layered on top of one another some things I like about that um, but the really big things uh, which I'm probably gonna do a separate episode for are the videos that we did for Christmas Eve um, which was actually a narrative film that I got to shoot I think some of my takeaways from 2022, uh, this was a, a year where I was learning a lot about project management and how to work with time. It's where I feel like I was, I, I had the breathing room to accomplish more of what I wanted to accomplish technically, but I also got it down a better process of working with our pastors so that what we were putting on the screens was really conveying what they were going to be trying to bring out of the text when they preached the word. Um, and that's ultimately my job in this, is these videos are simply so that we have transition moments on the stage for the logistical aspects of our gathering, um, so that we don't have to use prayer as a transition, so that the band isn't going off the stage while someone is praying. Like, we believe that prayer is part of how we worship as a church, and it's important. And so, whenever we can, we don't want that to be a transition, and that's what these videos give us the opportunity to do, where the band can go off and the pastor can come up and, and get themselves ready to preach. Um, and it subtly ties into what are we going to be preaching, what is in God's Word. Um, my hope is that it gets people excited. I never really know because thankfully this is not what saves people or doesn't save people, but I think it does communicate that we really care about what we preach at Rock Point and we spend time on 
how we present things. Not because the presentation is the most important part, but the presentation does communicate how important that we think the word is. So let me know if you have any questions, if there's anything else we can go through, if you want me to go more in depth on any of these videos. I'm going to do another video soon about our narrative Christmas film, Oh Holy Night, that we did as an intro for our Christmas Eve services. But until then, let's create together. See you in the next video.